Hi guys, today we're gonna discuss why is the eating of pork forbidden in Islam. There are several reasons to it, and we're gonna discuss it by one by one. Uh, the fact that consumption of pork is prohibited in Quran is very well known, and uh, and the uh, the prohibition of pork in Bible is not well known. We will discuss it later in the video. We will also discuss scientific reasons why pork should not be eaten. The following points explain various aspects of this prohibition. Pork prohibited in Quran. The Quran prohibits the consumption of pork in less, no less than four places. It is prohibited in Ver chapter 2 of verse number 170, chapter 5 verse number 3, chapter 6 verse number 145 and chapter 16 verse number 115. Forbidden to you for food are dead meat, blood, the flesh of swine, and that on which hath been invoked the name of other than Allah. Al-Quran chapter number 5, 3. The above verses of the Holy Quran are sufficient to justify a Muslim as to why pork is forbidden. Uh, the fact that the pork prohibition is not well known in Bible, we are going to discuss the prohibition of pork in Bible. The Christian may likely to be convinced by his religious scriptures. The Bible prohibits the consumption of pork in the following uh, chapters and uh, books Leviticus and the swine through the he divine the hoof and be clawed footed yet he chewed not the cut he is unclean to you of their flesh shall ye not eat and their carcass shall ye not touch they are unclean to you Leviticus pork is also prohibited in the Bible in the book of Deuteronomy and the swine because it divides the hoof yet you not the curd it is unclean unto you ye shall not eat of their flesh nor touch their dead carcass Deuteronomy chapter 14 verse number 8 a similar prohibition is repeated in the Bible in the book of Isaiah chapter 65 verse number ch verse of chapter number 5 chapter number 2 consumption of work causes several diseases a person can have various helminths like roundworm pinworm hookworm etc one of the most dangerous is tinea solium which is layman's terminology called tame worm it harbors in the intestine and is very in very long it's over eggs enter the bloodstream and can reach almost all the organs of the body. If it enters the brain, it can cause memory loss. If it enters the heart, it can cause heart attack. If it enters the eye, it can cause blindness. If it enters the liver, it can cause liver damage. It can damage almost all the organs of the body. Another dangerous helminth is, is Trichora tituaris. A common misconception about pork is that if it cook well, the, these over die. In a research project undertaken in America, it was found that out of 24 people suffering from trichora tissurias, 21 had cooked the pork very well. This indicates that the ova present in the pork do not die under normal cooking temperature. Also, pig causes hepatitis E and swine flu as well as many other diseases. Pork has fat building material as well and is a and also is a omnivorous so it has low very energy very less energy content and and also is a very less building material content and has a very lot of fat 
the, these, this fat can be deposited into the vessels and will cause hypertension, heart attack and it's not surprising that over 50% of America suffer from hypertension. Also being an omnivore, it has low energy content that I already discussed above. Eat lo uh, we all always told to eat low on the food table. It is one of the best chemicals that the world has produced in the villages when they have no more modern toilets like we used to we have. The villagers see it in the open air and it's eaten by pigs. Hence pig is one of the filthiest animals on earth but an important part of the ecosystem. Some may argue that in advanced countries like Australia pigs are bred in very clean and hygienic conditions. Even in these hygienic conditions the pigs are kept too together in in no matter how hard you try to keep them clean, they are filthy. By nature, they eat and enjoy their own as well as their neighbors' excreta. Thanks for watching.